Hey guys, it's me, Lemetria from Cutting Up Keto, where we slice and dice and serve up everything nice with no sugar and lots of spice. Now in this video, I'm gonna prepare for you guys yet another keto casserole that is A1. And this is called a bacon cheeseburger cauliflower casserole. I love this casserole. It has everything that you could ever dream of about a bacon cheeseburger and this really good sauce to it. I can't even really explain the sauce, but it's a nice creamy sauce. And this was one of the first meals that I did prepare on keto. Um, for those of you that have already purchased my meal plan, you'll notice that this was on your first week meal plan because like I said, I kind of tailor my meal plans to exactly what I ate on keto based on my food diary. So you guys are literally following everything that I did when I started keto. But this bacon cheeseburger cauliflower casserole, I'm telling you guys, it is amazing and you guys are absolutely gonna love it. Your whole family's gonna love it. It's nice and fatty and it's just, I mean, I really can't say enough about it. And it is easy to make. That's the best part about it. It has got to be something simple. When you're first starting out keto, the last thing you want is a complicated recipe. This comes together for you guys really within, I'm gonna say about a half hour or give or take. So so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that right now. Okay guys, so here I have all the ingredients that I need to make this awesome bacon cauliflower, I'm sorry, bacon cheeseburger cauliflower casserole. Right here I have some almond flour, I have some applewood bacon, some fresh ground round. You can use ground beef or ground turkey, it really doesn't matter, but I was able to get this on sale today, so that's why I got that. And then I also have some butter, I have grass-fed butter right here. You know that grass-fed butter is a lot healthier for you than just a regular conventional butter. Then I have some oregano leaves, celery flakes, celery seed for the sauce. I have some onion powder, um, some black pepper, some garlic powder. I have some Himalayan salt and I got me a new grinder so it'll work a lot easier than what I've been used to. And then I also have some rice cauliflower as well as some organic heavy whipping cream. I have about one quarter cup of, of chopped um, yellow onion as well as some yellow mustard and some cheddar cheese. So this is all you need to whip up this amazing bacon bacon cheeseburger cauliflower casserole so let's go ahead and get started whipping that up right now okay guys so to start off this bacon cheeseburger cauliflower casserole I'm gonna go ahead and add um, for my family I'm gonna add two two packages of the 16 ounce rice cauliflower if you can ooh, Sorry. If you can, go ahead and always get the rice cauliflower. It's a little bit more expensive, but I swear it saves steps. And when you are down in a crunch trying to prepare a meal quickly for your family, you want to go ahead and skip as many steps as possible. So, and also make sure that if you buy it frozen, that you're getting the brand that is not already seasoned. You don't want that. So go ahead and dump this in the bowl, in a bowl, a microwave safe bowl. And I'm gonna use two, but in the description box when I post the recipe, I'm gonna just put the recipe for 10 servings. This is gonna be for roughly about 15 servings because we all in this family wanna have at least two and a half servings of this at least. So I'm gonna go ahead and microwave this for probably about 10 to 15 minutes, give or take, till it's good and fork tender. And we'll be back in just a minute, but I'm gonna also, when it gets finished cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and season it also. And um, you know what, I may go ahead and just add these onions to this. Like I said, I told you guys I have a quarter cup of onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add that, and then I'm gonna stir it in so that it's mixed in there good, so that it cooks up with this cauliflower. And then we're gonna get this good and tender. And then while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the bacon for this. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right guys, so right now I have here some applewood bacon that I'm gonna go ahead and fry up. And we're gonna, after this fry that we're gonna reserve the bacon fat to fry the ground beef in. Applewood bacon is so good, y'all. I don't know if any of y'all have ever tried it, but if you ever get a chance, try it, it's awesome. For those of you that don't eat pork, I'm pretty sure that you can use turkey bacon for this as well. It's not gonna have that same flavor. Remember that pork bacon gives food a really unique flavor. Um, 
so yeah I mean I've never actually tried it myself but for people that have purchased my meal plan that do not eat pork I usually tell them to go ahead and try it with a turkey bacon and just use some avocado oil or some other kind of a oil a ghee to cook that ground beef in so yeah either way it'll work but either way it's gonna be good because like I said you cannot go wrong with any kind of bacon and a cheeseburger so we're gonna let this go ahead and cook and we'll come back when it's done. All right, so now guys, the cauliflower has come out of the microwave. I cooked it on roughly about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I also have the bacon, it's been finished. Right there, you can see it's not, I mean, it's cooked through, but there are some pieces that are not all the way done, which is fine because I say it's gonna bake in the oven. And you can see right here in my pot here that I went on ahead and put the drippings from the bacon. You can see roughly about how much oil that is. So if you're gonna um, be adding oil, I'm gonna say at least a quarter cup of oil that looks like that is, that I'm gonna cook the, um, the, the ground round in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this ground round to this here um, Dutch oven. And while that is cooking, I'm gonna season my cauliflower. Now remember what I told you in the last cauliflower casserole, that cauliflower needs to be seasoned really, really good. Now here I have, how much is this? I'm gonna add two pounds of this meat here. And I'm just gonna eyeball, I have three pounds. So this is gonna be just an eyeball job. Now to that, I'm gonna add some Worcestershire sauce to the beef. I'm not measuring that, just pouring it on. Okay, I'm gonna break it up. And I'm gonna let that get good and brown. I'm also gonna go ahead and now I've already pre-measured about one teaspoon each of salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and some oregano. And I'm also gonna add to this some black pepper. I hadn't measured that out. And I'm also gonna add some of these, just a few celery flakes to this. Okay, and then we're gonna let that cook, but now I'm gonna go on ahead and start seasoning up my cauliflower. So I'm gonna set the bacon to the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and season my cauliflower. So. I have a new Himalayan salt grinder. I'm gonna add some salt to that. And then I'm gonna add some black pepper. I'm also gonna add about a half cup of almond flour. Remember though, this recipe that's gonna be in the description box is gonna be slightly different from this because I'm using more because we have a bigger family size. And I'm gonna add some onion powder to this. This pepper always makes me sneeze. All right, I'm gonna add a little garlic powder to this um, cauliflower. And I'm gonna add some celery seed to this. Just a few celery flakes to it. And now I'm gonna mix this up really good to combine it. It smells so good already. Cauliflower, as you'll learn on keto, is gonna be one of your most versatile vegetables. 
especially when you get down to making things like the cauliflower pizza crust and things like um, keto cheesy bread with that that you can you know dip those sticks inside some of the keto marinara sauce that I showed in the video okay. and there's that so I'm gonna set this aside and let this ground beef continue to cook and we'll come back when the ground beef is finished okay guys so as you can see this ground beef is good and done so I'm gonna use a slotted spoon because I'm gonna leave those drippings behind and use those okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take as much as I can over here into the and in a separate bowl I added a few more seasonings to it as well I advise you guys to go ahead and season this stuff you want it to be very good and flavorful Turn this down a little bit. Uh -oh. It's too low. See, this is why on keto we say do not do the lean cuts of meat and lean cuts of ground, either ground beef or ground turkey, because a lot of times you can use these drippings to make an awesome sauce. And that's exactly what we're getting ready to do right now. of it as I can it's a little bit difficult I probably could have used a strainer you can do that also that way you'll be sure to have just the fat all right one more should do it well, it's gonna have to do it anyways. We're gonna make this um, sauce regardless. <laughs> Whether there's some in there or not, it's not really gonna matter. I'll try and get one more swoop. All right, well, that's as good as it's gonna get. All right, so I'm gonna set this um, cooked beef aside. Sit right here with the cauliflower. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and add to my Dutch oven, I'm gonna add about one and a half tablespoons of butter to the fat, you guessed it, even more fat. And then I'm also going to add about three tablespoons of almond flour. I hope I have that much in here. I'm gonna let that butter melt down really quick and then I'm gonna get my, my um, whisk. Okay, got the whisk. So let this butter melt down and turn it up a little bit because I had turned it down all the way. Okay, now I'm going to add the three tablespoons of almond flour and I'm going to just whisk that until it's all absorbed. Starting to thicken pretty good. Now to that, I'm gonna add about two cups of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna stir that around. And to that, I'm going to add some mustard. Now I hope I have enough in here. If not, I'm gonna use one of my um one of my other mustards that I have. Yeah, see I'm running low on this. And I forgot to buy some more. So I'm gonna do the best I can. And if not, we're gonna add some spicy mustard to it, and that is fine too. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Jazz it up just a little bit. 
So this right here is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this Boar's Head Deli Style Mustard. That's gonna give it a really unique taste too. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of half of another one. Okay. That is it for that. And I'm gonna whisk that around and let that cook until it starts to thicken just a little bit. Okay, now guys, you can see that it's starting to bubble just a little bit into this um, sauce here because you know I like to use celery flakes because it gives it that awesome flavor that I love. I'm gonna add some celery flakes as well as some celery seed to this. And let it continue to cook. Now it's starting to thicken. Maybe just a few more minutes. I'll add a little bit more seasoning to it. I'll add a little bit of onion, I'm sorry, onion powder, as well as a little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit more pepper. and just a pinch of salt, not much, because that mustard is really salty. I continue to whisk this around. Now I'm gonna taste this sauce and see if it needs anything. And see, check on the, how, how well is it thickening. Do I need any more almond flour? We'll see. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I'm gonna burn it. That's good, but it needs something. Definitely needs some more salt. I didn't realize. I'm gonna add some more onion powder. And a little bit more of the garlic. And a little bit more celery flakes to this. So this is why you have to taste your food because sometimes, I mean like I said, you just don't wanna have bland food, I'm telling you. There's just no excuse for it, you know? You buy all these seasonings, use them. All right, let me give it another try and see if this is any better. I hope it is. It's pretty good. I still think that it needs just a little bit more salt. I think it was that heavy cream that thinned it out a lot. So this should do it right here. Okay, one last taste test. Let's see. You know what? Let me add some onion salt to this. Another one of my favorite additions. And I'm gonna add a little bit more celery seed. Like I say, you've really gotta taste this stuff. 
and season it to your liking. What you don't want is for it to just taste as though you just tasted a cup of plain heavy whipping cream. That's not what you want. All right, let's give it a go and see how it is this time. Don't mind me for sticking my spoon back in here again. Told y'all this is at home cooking, so nobody's gonna have this but us. That is perfect, got it. It took a few tries, but that's the beauty of cooking. Sometimes you just gotta experiment. Mm. When it's good enough, that you want to taste it just by itself, you got it. So now, we're gonna come back in a minute, I'm gonna clear some of this off and we're gonna go on ahead and assemble the casserole and get it ready to put in the oven. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right guys, so now that the sauce is done, you can see it's nice and thick. We're gonna go ahead and start assembling this casserole. So first, I'm gonna add some sauce to the bottom of this cap, of the nine and a half, I'm sorry, nine by 13 casserole dish and also my oven has been preheated to 350 degrees and guys if ever you have questions about the recipes please remember that I always post my recipes in the description box I always well I try to for the most part put the macros in there as well not always just depends you I told you guys I have a lot going on and sometimes I cannot you know take the time to calculate them which is why I made that one video about the My Fitness Pal showing you how to do that part. But for this, okay, I got that, the bottom of that, coated pretty good with some sauce. So next, I'm gonna add the cauliflower to this. There we go. That looks good, and the smell is even better. Okay, and try and get that as flat as possible, because we're gonna layer this almost like a lasagna. Now to that, I'm gonna add the cheese. I have here triple cheddar. You guys can use regular cheddar, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna layer it with cheese. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the beef on top of the cheese. Look at how good that looks. This is a really good casserole to get started on keto. And just try and mash it down, because we're still not done layering it. And to, on top of this beef, we're gonna add some more of the sauce. I highly recommend that you guys really taste this sauce. It should not be bland. I cannot stress that enough. And on top of this sauce, we are going to add some more cheese.
There we go. There's it for that pack. Now I'm just gonna open up this other pack of mild cheddar that I have here. I always have cheese in my refrigerator. Okay, to that I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese, a little bit more of the cheddar. And I'm gonna put the rest of this sauce on top. Now I'm gonna try my hardest to not mess this up because this is really heavy. Yeah, this is a really, really heavy pot. Oh my, okay. All right, let's see there. I'm gonna sit that down. And I'm going to grab this spatula here and try and get the rest of that sauce out of there as best I can. There we go. That's it for that. And here comes the fun part. I'm gonna try and spread it as best I can That was not the fun part. This is the fun part. We're gonna top it with bacon. Yes, we are. Can you believe that this is the heart of the ketogenic diet? Aside from the leafy greens that we have, you can have this fun stuff. The good fatty bacony cheeseburger casserole. And keep in mind, guys, this is why I say this is why we have our lemons on keto to help us digest this stuff. So that is it. I'm going to taste that. So what we're going to do now is we are going to throw this in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm going to cover it. Let me get a little bit of aluminum foil here. Let's see here. I want to get one that's open. I got a drawer full. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and bake this for 30 minutes. Then after that, I'm gonna come back and then bake it uncovered for a little bit longer, a little bit, five, maybe five minutes or so. And then after that, we're just gonna let it cool and eat. So we'll be back in just a minute after it's finished. Okay guys, this bacon cheeseburger casserole has come out of the oven and it smells amazing. Get a look at this. It is finally ready, and I am going to go ahead and start cutting it so I can go ahead and try it. But get a close up look at that. Look at that fatty goodness. Now this right here is about 10 servings, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and portion it out ahead of time to try and keep some sort of order here. There we go. This is as good as I can do. There we go, that's roughly about 10 servings. That one's a little bit much, but you know what? Oh well. <laughs> so anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of this out. And as you can see, I already prepared right here a nice arugula salad to go along with it to help digest this fat. And there's a few interesting things that you should know about arugula is that in addition to being a leafy green, it is also a cruciferous vegetable. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing right there? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try it. So yeah, it's also a cruciferous vegetable that is loaded in beta carotene. So this is gonna help you, this salad right here, is gonna help you fight cancer, as well as helping prevent any, uh, any age-related eye damage, especially macular degeneration, because it's loaded in beta carotene. And also, know that, um, you know, when keto, we're not eating a lot of carrots and things. So, you know, to get beta carotene from a green that's gonna be low in sugar and low in carbs is a win-win. So I also have here too, wait a minute, I think I have just a little bit more of this casserole to get for my serving, because I, I know I'm gonna want it. I'm just thinking ahead. But I also have here 
If you guys ever run across this dressing right here, it's called Drew's Organics. This is a really good um, salad dressing that's all natural. And they have, you know, it's, it's non-GMO, gluten-free. This is made with all vegan and plant-based ingredients and it's a good marinade as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of this to my salad, roughly two tablespoons. I'm not gonna measure it out right now. but I'm gonna eyeball two tablespoons. That should do it. So yeah, guys, so let me go ahead and give this a try. Move these greens around and mix that up. Got just a little bit of tomato on there. A little bit of tomato was fine on keto. And some cucumbers with this awesome arugula salad. This is the perfect ketogenic meal right here. So let me go ahead and give it a try. But get a better look at that. That looks amazing i cannot wait for you guys to try this out and tell me in the description box how you like it so let me go ahead and try it it's a little bit hot it just came out of the oven but i'm gonna do the best i can mm. guys i'm telling you you have got to try this. It's so good. And this is likely why it's one of the first casseroles that I put on the meal plan that I sell. If you guys are interested in getting a personalized meal plan from me that's based on the meals that I ate when I started the keto drink diet and was shedding weight like crazy, go ahead and send me an email. My email is gonna be in the description box. But yeah, this casserole, this is a winner and everybody in your family is gonna love this too. Let me get another bite. The, this, this cauliflower is seasoned so well. And just the taste of this arugula, this is an awesome dinner. Awesome. Mm. This is really good stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys will hit me a like, give me a like. If you're new to the channel, go on ahead and subscribe to the Cutting Up Keto Show and do not forget to hit the bell if you are new to the channel so that way you'll be notified the next time the new episodes of Cutting Up Keto are uploaded as soon as they're uploaded. So guys, but also, I almost forgot. Also, share this video with your family and friends that are new to keto. They're gonna wanna know a lot of the questions, what can I eat on keto? Is it gonna be nasty? No way. This stuff is awesome, y'all. So, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this amazing bacon, cheeseburger, cauliflower casserole, and my fresh arugula salad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.